What's up, you guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to today's video. Diving back into Hogwarts Legacy. Ooh, and you're gonna go spend some time with Poppy. Mm -hmm. See what's wrong with Gran, because Gran's in trouble. Gran is in trouble. It's not from her, uh, no, skiing incidents. Mm -mm. Gran's a bit crazy, I hear. Well, just, you know, sometimes you gotta be. Then again, you can see if we watch Poppy. Poppy's pretty crazy, too. Life does that to you. <laughs> All right, first things first, though, uh, I'm going to go through my talent points and what I've got. I was requested that I go through my talent points. Um, so I've mostly been... <laughs> stealth is kind of my main my main jam. I usually I usually go stealth, but I tried to steer away from stealth uh, this time, so I just took the first two. The uh, I can run because, like, it's so slow. And then uh, not being able to be detected. In my core, I did... Um, the that the perfect protego over this is a damaging blast uh that breaks enemy shields i did um uh, basic magic does more for the ancient magic meter um blocking a spell with perf perfect protego will send two projectiles back at enemies uh successfully evading and uh, and an unblockable attack with the dodge contributes to the ancient magic mirror so i really focused on like getting my ancient magic mirror up. I got all three of the levels of um, skill slots open uh, that wing and weld heals you to a greater effect. Um, ancient magic throw uh, catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. That's really fun with those sentinels. And then basic cast impacts reduce spell cooldowns. I still have six talent points left. I am hoarding them because I just, mm, I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. Uh, I'm not going to take anything in the dark arts. I haven't really dabbled yet with the room of requirement because I'm just, you know, I haven't yet. I didn't even know it was open. If you want, like, if you want us to show you anything that we're not showing you, let us know. We're, we're totally happy to. Mm -hmm. We just pretty much think it's boring. Yeah. If, if you want to see something, let us know. We'll try to figure some way to get at least a portion of it in. Yeah. <clears throat> That's you, you... Ooh! What'd you say to me? You're gonna get it. <laughs> this ridiculous grudge. I hate him. <clears throat> he has it coming, and he will he will rue the day. I feel there's a lot of tension between you two. Wanna I wanna I wanna put a dug bog tongue in this soup. Oh you know well, you two should just get a room, spend some time in it together. Work out your frustrations. One of us will not come out of there alive. And it's not going to be me. And we'll have a, a, a glass window that'll be one way mirror. Can't, because uh, you'll just see me murder mirror. him. And then we can just watch everything happen. We'll take bets. Heckin' rude. <clears throat> oh, good. You're safe. I am. Thanks, Poppy. You doubted her? <laughs> yeah. There you are. Have you heard of the things she's done? state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we cost them everything. Oh, okay. Well, good. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. Well, I should have I mean, known. Half around, find I underestimated out. the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed. So they took valuable journals Tell me she's that Grandma discovered Phoenix. when she was researching rare creatures. Tell me she's one of them Phoenix. contained theories about a secret oh. hiding place of the Snidget. Long thought to be extinct. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. Let we them need watch. Allies, others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Okay. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. Okay, let me know when you're... 
I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Well, let me know. What's next? I guess we're gonna go talk to Sebastian. I don't like that you're gonna hang out with best bud Sebastian. Okay, so you can turn them into stuff, but it doesn't matter. It does not do anything to them. They just come out of it. So it's more of a get them out of the way for a while. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sebastian, what are we doing here? It's a, this is this is a cemetery. I'm not judging. Sebastian, I I like hanging out in cemeteries. I came as soon as I could. I finally realized I brought my kitchen towel that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. Mm. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranlock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Rookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Oh, guns are blazing. We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. That's violent. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the tree. Yeah, I just want to reiterate. You're playing the good play there? I we'll see that symbol again. You know what? Off to you. A great person would leave no survivors when it comes to evil deeds <laughs> that they're, that they're <laughs> inflicting. Murderer would say the same thing. No. <laughs> Morally gray. Let's just... They are up ahead. The numbers Morally. beg to differ. Hope you're with me, Sebastian. No, wrong one. Oh, shoot. Oh. Yep, I'm trying. Oh, I just, it's really hard to figure out where my spells are. I'm... No, that was heckin' rude. Oh, that was also rude. Good. There. That's murder number 1,122. Hey, hey now. <laughs> That's heckin' rude. What do we got? What do we got going on here? Oh, there's a... A dude. Like... Good night. All of Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Okay, well, let's not say inclusively <laughs> that everybody deserves everything they get well the people that are supporting ranrock i mean they might not have a choice and his vision might be the only vision they know no but he didn't say every goblin he just said all of oh, ranrock's said, supporters oh yeah but i mean he might not know that better it's going well we make a good team we do at that once again we could fight our way through or we'll be discreet Obviously. Oh, Ooh. shoot, I didn't get that quick enough. Okay, that's rude. I'm looking at my spells, I'm not looking at you. <laughs> Come on, Bastion! You okay, Sebastian? Oh, you really shot that box up. Destroyed that crate. Oh, wow. Hey. What did that animal do to you? 
Oh, mm-hmm. We're having fun. And that was you tell her fun. how to think. We're having fun, Abigail. Darn, Abigail, this is fun. If you don't like it, you can go home. But I'm not going to let you. Don't pee in Sebastian's cornflakes. It's a real sour disposition. Blech. Gross. I didn't need to go any deeper than that, please. <laughs> Shut up, okay? <laughs> Shoot the barrel. The barrel. What? There's a fire barrel there. Well, Sebastian's standing right next to him. I'm gonna. He'd be fine. Rumor is this mine was burned long ago due to an infestation. Of At this point in time in your game, he's learned Crucio. Not spiders. I haven't seen before. That's the spirit. Damn it, Sebastian. Okay, devs. We need to come up with something other than just spiders. How about butterflies? Evil carnivorous butterflies. Sure. Bricks. How about bricks? Sounds they good. They don't do anything. That was a spider. <clears throat> we're making well, quick progress. Well, no, I'm not trying to make quick progress. I don't think this is the way we're supposed to be going. I am just trying to. Oh. That was a carcass of a spider you just walked right by. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's not the first one I walked by. Oh, there's one at the beginning, too. Yep. Ugh. I tried not to look at it. <sighs> the nasties. Ugh, I hate them. Why do they gotta, like, shrivel up and just turn inwards? And I know. Why is that a thing that happens? And why are the ones without fur even worse than the ones with? Oh, yeah. For better or for worse, we're in. Good job, Sebastian. Thanks. This mine looks like a tomb. Revelio. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. <gasps> What's this? Smells nice, sweet, nice. Burn it to the ground. Just bring some TNT in here. Get the TNT out. It'll be fine, right? That sounds great to me. We could look for, look for a rune symbol in the, some uh, exploded cave. There's a. Oh. Dang. Jeez. I just it's destroyed that thing with your knee. Yeah. Okay, Sebastian. Let's go. See any goblins in these webs? Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Okay, maybe maybe <clears throat> that's uh that's taking it a bit far. Yeah, we can't just sum up all goblins, okay? That's not that's not how that's not how things work, Sebastian. No, that's not. Just ran rocks loyalists, people that are trying to do really bad things, poachers. <laughs> there you are. I mean, I still wouldn't lump all them together, but. Great either. You know what? They're choosing to be bad people. Right? That's a. That's fighting together. We're still. Yeah, Sebastian! Let me bring him over here and we'll mess him up, Sebastian. You and me. Come on, Sebastian. I know you got Crucio in there. I know you got it. Use it! See, my spells glitch. Like, How many Ranrock's loyalists are in here? A lot of them. Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Rebellion. <clears throat> Did you see how good of a team we were? He's sort of showing you how him and I do it. So much But at a lesser level. Nah, he had my back. Like a team. It's because he knows that Magneth wants to take you out. On a date. That ledge is no. Really high. Yeah. Any ideas? No. Don't think so. I think so. Yeah. Those ones should be able to die, devs. 
No survivors. No survivors. Ooh, small game table. Cool. Oh, cool. Oh, well, that's what you want. That is what you want. You're getting low. <laughs> I know, but you don't want to see that in a cave. <clears throat> there must be something around here that can help. Yeah, don't. Yeah, okay. Just hold on, Sebastian. I got it. Ooh. Can we not do Ooh. that? That would be. I uh, hate what a carnival that. ride that was. I wasn't even pressing any buttons. It just did that by itself. <clears throat> Rebellion. Abigail just showing off. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar eyes, or the venomous fangs, mm -hmm. or any number of endearing qualities, really. Endearing? All of them. Endearing. Oh, well, here we go again. You ready? I know you're being facetious, but not the time. Are you ready, Sebastian? Why does your hair look so funny? You got you highlights. Just, yeah, did you do something <laughs> with your hair? Looks good, man. <laughs> sure, it looks great. Right through the barrels. Yeah. Smashing. Yeah. Smashing. They're really funny. Well, don't try and go back up there, Sebastian. Sebastian. He's shamed. He's looking at the wall. I did it. I like that Repair was getting useful again, because it seemed like it was getting no use for a while. Yeah, I was like, you're never going to use the spell. Now you're always going to use that spell. We had learned it and then never needed it. Yeah. Never needed it. Jeez, Sebastian. Sebastian, just settle down. It's okay. You're fine. Poor guy. Mama Abigail will protect you from the spiders. Yeah, I got you. Uh -oh. oh, why are we focusing on that one? Oh, that's why. It's been juiced. Oh, it's it's. Oh, it's oh. Oh, good job, Sebastian. Holding on the ground. Well done. Well, that's not it. Nice. We've read yeah, the I can't wait to do this one team of Bastion. Yeah, this is fun. Uh oh. <laughs> what? You just picked up Wigwell Potion. Oh no. Let's continue. Oh, okay, well. We're making quick work of them. Mm. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. You good, Sebastian? Did you? Oh yeah, you're good. Oh, yeah. Of course Bastion's good. Ooh, why is it... Why are there just so many spiders everywhere? Nice. Like how Bastion got a shot in there, even though it was already dead. Yeah. I helped. He's I did helping. something. Totally got the kill on that one. Absolutely all me. You've still not seen a single rune. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. Just a moment. Distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? Goblins. Ready? Let's go.
that one in the butt. I was pressing two buttons at once. Oh! Ooh. Oh no! Oh. I was like, oh, there's a chance this could be it. Nope. Oh darn, I wasted on that spider. Oh! More than one! Isn't there only supposed to be one matriarch in each family? Ugh, it's just all so awful. You got that one, Sebastian? You're, you're good? No! There's no one behind you. I'll move. Is there three matriarchs? There might be. Oh no, it's a mini one. <laughs> Sebastian will take on the small one. You can get the big one. Seriously, Sebastian? Nice. So you can see at the room. Don't know why Gryffindors get credit for bravery. We Slytherins are teeming with it. <laughs> yeah, girl. We're just smarter about it. Oh, the two, to be fair, I've just ran into every single battle I can. Willy nilly. So. Oh, and some that work battles. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, we can have a look around in peace. Murdered everybody, so now we can look around in peace. Okay, where are we going? Do you think Hogwarts has a Hogwarts book of records that's gonna list Abigail's name as the most kills them ever? No. <laughs> <laughs> Smash, smash in. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There's one. There's two. Oh, yeah, there now there's three. It's gonna be somewhere I can see it. Sebastian, the adults are working. Go down a bit more, and then look to your left. There. Oh, okay, 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 nice. Okay. Oh, that was nice. Jeez. She didn't waste any time on that. Where did it open? Oh, good. Oh, the thick fog rolls in. Yeah, ooh. Rebellion. The world floated back to me as if in a watery haze. How long had I been unconscious? And I remember his eyes, empty, empty of sorrow, yes, but also I recall feeling a sense of euphoria as I watched the pain vanish, but everything started to turn. When I fell, I must have hit my head. I, either, I neither feel nor see a mark, but the pain is throbbing. I can only hope it is not the Black Death. At least he is no longer in pain. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Hopefully. Sebastian, I think I found something. Ooh. A canvas piece. Do you think casting Brilliant. the magic caused her to feel Our something? Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, mm. something, something to be taken about from this her place or feels her? odd. I and maybe removing something. I think removing. She didn't just remove his pain. She removed something else, so like maybe, his so, morality or something. Yeah. And I think he, I think, think he, he attacked yeah, her. I think so. Hey, you good? If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? 
Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. Oh, sorry, Sebastian. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's Already got it. Around. Come on, Sebastian. <laughs> Took the broom with me. <clears throat> As a witch does. And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Revelio. Oh, he's already here. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Great. Um, okay. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Hmm. I trust Sebastian. A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? Yeah. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. Not all I goblins. Do, but not all goblins. Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. Okay. We have a fight now. Good. I'm glad. Rude. Rebellion. It means you will not become Sebastian. Uh, come between Sebastian and I taking over. Makes me feel real bad that we're in a fight. But also, like... <laughs> Isn't that funny how that works? You're playing a game, but you still feel bad. I feel really bad, yeah. Well, I should go check on the Thestrals. I made poor, horrible choices. No, I think I made all the right choices. I know, but you yeah. feel like you made the wrong ones. But if you... Yeah. Sebastian is clearly the one being unreasonable here. I mean, that's one opinion. That's the only opinion. <laughs> did you ever check your Thestrals to see if they... I did. I'm going right here to check them again. They hadn't yet. Like, do you get notified? Does, does the kid just pop out? Do you have to do something? Did you come in here and he's just in the pen, just lying there, all quiet? Oh, I guess I'll add my extra too. Oh, there we go. I had the. How to be that one? Why? And this one's stuck like halfway in, halfway out. Oh, there's a baby in there. Is there? I think so. Is that a baby? No, that's, oh, that's, that's mom. Has to be that one. All right, cool, 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 cool. Keep that in mind. Look at that sing. What is mask. that? That's the one you're looking at? That's the one I was looking at. Nice. It's because you're actually evil. No! <laughs> so rude. That is so cool. That is so cool. <sighs> that would go so sharp with my out attire that I have. Too late, it's mine. Oh, well, I'm taking it too. We're both evil, so it's okay. I'm not evil. Are you sure? You're evil. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Thank you for noticing. I do a good job if you notice. Heckin' rude. Isadora has this, the, the exact same wand I have. Nice. Okay, if we're gonna if we're gonna rock this mask, we gotta do it right. <laughs> so not in pajamas? Not in pajamas. I'm just as sad as you are. Oh, I am so sad. The heartbreak is palpable. Your sarcasm is not needed. Thank you. <laughs> We're doing no scarf. That's the executive executive decision. <laughs> yeah. I want to strike fear into the hearts of my enemy. Saying Abigail shouldn't be cute. No, she should be feared. 
You can be cute and be feared. That's true. She's cute. You're saying she's not cute? <laughs> I'm saying she's cute. She can be feared and cute. She is both right now. We got to sell. Nothing. The dogs. The I dogs. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Probably not. You don't have anything I need. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I'm here to take your money. That's pretty much it at this point. Ooh, oh, that kid just stared at me. That kid just side-eyed you. Well, I don't blame him. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Meat. What you got, Meat? Need your uh, gobbledygook. Hey, friend. Uh, can I kindly bore you bore you for some of your time? Can I please risk your life? We're gonna go talk to a goblin. Hello there. Hi. Hello, Meat. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. Have you been following His name us? Is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? A little bit. I think bit. he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. It's about how we feel, but at the same time, a little bit leery. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Well, okay. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Try me. Fair. Lodgok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Oh, Suspicious. He doesn't want to be looked at a fool. Or oh, he's going to learn some curse words to say to him. Part of me hopes so. That would I be really funny. We'll never even know. They just start swearing at each other and gobbledygook. <laughs> yeah. Don't a you break our trust. Gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Mm. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. That would be a wise choice. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean? The keepers, right? It has to be. Large, magically so. fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. Mm -hmm. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names yeah. mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Mm -hmm. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge magic. with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Stupid. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Yeah, understandably. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Amit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. No, 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 no. I want Great details now. Lord, it is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. Oh. I, um, uh, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak. Oh, no. I'm eat. I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Aww. Lord Gok. 
Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. Why? What written plans? And why can't you come yeah. with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. Yeah, okay, that's All fair. All you need to do is not be seen. Well, I mean, Either Julie's not going to leave anybody alive to report back anyway, a so... Loitering loyalist. You're fine. <laughs> what else should we know about the enchanted door? Rude. <laughs> the door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend oh, well, must be invisible yeah. to it to gain access. <laughs> From what I All know, that practice in those chests? That shouldn't yeah. be come down to this. To this yeah. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. What if you're seen here? I shall see you soon. Okay, come on, meet. Let's go. Okay, is this the door? Oh, the one you can't be seen by? Yeah. I don't think it's this door. I think it's further in. Could be wrong. The oh, door is yeah. looking at us. Oh, come on. Oh, he doesn't do it. Ah, I, know. <laughs> I miss it every time. That's the whole point. That's the whole point is the all his limbs go yeah. all weird. Really prepare one for reality. Ooh. A real goblin man. It's even grander than I had expected. You okay, mate? You're gonna be able to fight, right, mate? Nope, I'm gonna be protecting him. Look at all those mushrooms you wasted. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. What do you need? I cannot believe Look I met a goblin. Impressive workmanship for so simple a I'm device. So curious. Impressive workmanship yeah, aside, it's the only way forward. What a good heart. Until it's dark and light. Hey, hey, now I'm I'm good. We're about to wipe out. Give a meat a taste of the dark side, the blood side. I can't believe we're inside a That's real Very rude. Mine. <laughs> Do you deny? I am not impressed with your attitude, sir. Do you deny? I am not impressed with your attitude, sir. <laughs> I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. How nice of you. What? Avelio. Me? Who said that? Must be these guys. Odin? Is that you? you? Wait about your meat. I'll get you through this one. <laughs> 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 oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, take that. <laughs> and don't you come back. You did great, buddy. Good job. Proud of you. Oh. oh. Well, that'll be watched by a door. Yup. Don't worry, I'm not intentionally trying to light you on fire. I'm just 
Gotta go up the water. That's what, um, what's up here? Yeah. <laughs> Blow it open! I can't, I can't use my... my... Go back to the water. There you go. Oh, yes. I thought I was still crouching because I was disillusioned. character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Oh, he's so sweet. Poor guy. So Let's innocent. Around, meet. So See innocent. if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. Avelia. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? <laughs> Root. I don't think that's what they're building. <laughs> Powered by magic. Nice. Good job, Amit. Yeah, well done. You're doing great for this being your first outing. Seemed okay with his first kills. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Didn't do anything to him. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. We brought the right person. Feel a little bad about having to bring him, but we definitely brought the right person. Yeah, I think you popped that murder cherry. It's, uh, hey, hey now. Just saying. You've killed people before, right? I'm sure this isn't a big deal. <laughs> That's not the feeling I got when we first met him. Yep, you're right. That poor boy with his head in the stars. Yeah. This is where oh, came from. That's where I came from. Okay, where? Oh, this way. Wait. Through there. Through there. Okay. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But uh -oh. what? Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Empty-headed? Oh! Oh! Look out, look out. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, yeah, 
I just missed him. How are you doing, Amit? Put me down at once! He's kind of his delicate golden sensibilities. You jerk! Some girl. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yes! He had that coming. Really hammered him home. I handled much worse. This place is more complex than I had expected. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Just you, just keep up the good work. You're doing awesome. Another schematic. What are they going to build? I wonder if the boiler of power is might not want to tell your parents about this. Yeah, don't, you know, maybe, maybe that stays. Where am I supposed to go from here? That door. That door? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Secret door, not so secret. Secret door, not so secret, okay. No. Oh, those are. Those are horror clubs. Rebellion. Devil snare. Nasty Ooh, stuff if we're not good. Oh, that sucks. Entanglement we need right now. I didn't see it. I mean, seriously? He says it as we're just walking right into it. Yeah, there's a lot of... Somehow standing right in front of that box, she missed it. Yeah, okay. She's just like, nope, I'm not gonna... I am not gonna hurt this innocent box. What has this box ever done to me? I mean, I can say about half the goblins you killed, but... Hey, now! <laughs> Rebellion. <gasps> That's a full room. Why don't you come down here and fight me? I won't rest. Oh, shoot. Okay, not who I want to hit, but you know. Bunch of jerks. I just didn't roll quick enough. Come on. Tuck and roll, darling.
Oh, you okay? I mean, gonna need you to kill some. Not my friend, you jerk. That dude just caught wind of what was going on. Real late to the party. How many of them are there? That should be the last of them. You good? You did great. Thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. That was really tough. You did awesome. Proud of you. Can you ask her for her kill count? Hundred. Hey now. <laughs> I wonder if I would be impressed. Probably not. Well, that was weird. I don't that, know what just that, happened there, but that wasn't supposed to work, and it did. Oh, that's an eyeball. I hear what we're gonna do. Right. Don't wish to be seen doing. Well, not by this door, anyhow. This is not good. They're building enormous drills. Bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lord Gok what we found. That is a big drill. That is a big drill. Okay. How are we going to get out of here, Amit? This one looks like the long way. Maybe not. Taking the surface elevator. Taking the surface elevator. You on? Let's go. Just going out. Thanks for helping me. Good luck. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. Yeah, it probably was. Sorry, buddy. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Oh, well, okay. Jeez. What? You're so wild. I know, that's what I mean. We have we have ve two very different styles of doing the locks. <laughs> you do them all slow and methodical, and I'm like, ah! I got so confused. Like, well, what did you miss? And I got it. Hey, there's more. There's more? Usually this is the end. This is the end. Come on, Abigail. <laughs> Holy smoke. She's got a dark spot in that side of her vision that she can't see things. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. There's gonna be so many bad guys out of this door. There are gonna be so many of them. I think they got Lodcock. <gasps> I hope not. Oh good, there isn't. Can we please talk about what just happened? Yeah, sure, yeah. That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. <laughs> it really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a yeah. lifetime, perhaps. Yeah. Sorry, I mean, he hadn't killed I before. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Gok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Thanks, Your buddy. goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Yeah, for sure. Well, yeah. Without further ado, at you. <laughs> nice. He's adorable. 
They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So I was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. Mm. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. I think this is Treadwell. Maybe she it's that, it's that, uh, the little dick Yeah. Yes. Miriam. But how That's did you... wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Oh. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. That's so sad. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Oh, no. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch when I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gob, for telling me this. Hmm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. Yeah. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Can't have that, because then the muggles get involved. What's for my eyes? Muggles don't stand a chance. Those poor muggles. Thanks, Logox. See you later. Bye.